I think I figured it out. I drove a lot of cars in my career. Probably, I don't know, more than a thousand. Maybe 10,000. I don't know. I drove a lot of freaking cars. And a lot of them had 4L60Es. Like this was. This has a 4L60. Not electronic controlled. Truck has a 4L60E. But in 1994, that was like the second year they put it into use. It did not have a PWM. Pulse width modulation for the torque converter clutch. Did not have it. That's why that truck over there. Freaking shit's hard. You probably seen in my videos things like a clunk monster. Boom, boom, boom. But I like it like that. It's fast, firm, solid. I drove a 94 Roadmaster. I remember that car, LT1. It broke like the wheels loose. 94. Doesn't have the PWM. 1995. PWM. Drove a 95 Fleetwood. Behaves the same way this car does, especially when it's hot. So I think the PWM has to go. We gotta drop the pan and uh, put like a spring in place of it. If anyone's done it, let me know. It looks pretty easy. I don't think I have to even drop down the valve body. I can do it. Um, I can do it on the car, and I could uh, drop the. Um, holy shit! Look at that water over there. I can uh, drop the boost valve too. I can put a better boost valve in it in the pump. Wow, that AC water it is. I got a low spot right there. Thought it was gas. Um, hello YouTube, this is Chevy Lover123 YouTube's channel, and um, we're going to unplug the fans, don't need fans, we are going to, this might be ready this one, we are going to um, put another fire on this, I'm not sure, I don't know, I really should use the fire I had originally, use those transmission tables, but use the engine tables that I have now because I'm not liking the way it's shifting. Uh, uh, the two or three shifts could be fucked up on this thing. It could be. And the other thing, this vehicle has a it's a '95, not like truck, not like this 700 or four, but in '95 the geniuses decided to put pulse width modulation (PWN) on the torque converter clutch. So instead of on off. Like my truck has in this thing, it goes boom, boom, boom. I like that. This car. It does exactly like that. This slowly engages it and allows the torque converter to slip. You see that? Title Ghetto Trans Tune. Trans. Not transgendered. Transmission. So we have been playing around in Tuner Cat. Or cats, whatever the freak this thing is called. We are modifying your transmission. Shifting. I like the drivability on the new file. But I do not like the way the transmission shifts. It shifted better in the old file. So I started taking what was done, which is basically up to line pressure on the other file and I incorporate it into this new file. I also, since I have that 2-3 bump that I don't like, because I have a, uh, what the hell, pulse width modulation on this particular car, I probably could tune that out somehow. I'm not really sure yet. Shift time. Oh, here it was. Shift time, low altitude. I screwed around with this a little bit, I believe. I think, or did I? Did it even take? I don't know. I think I screwed around with this. Shift on high altitude. Now I put some weird numbers in here. Maybe it didn't take. Oh no. Hi everyone. It's Sunday night. We're almost twelve in the at uh, twelve at night. Sunday night. I should be sleeping by now. Some people have to go to work on Monday. I don't have to because I'm a bum. Right. So I should have should shouldn't be doing this, but I made a new tune a a bin file binary for my computer. So I'm gonna plug in is it starting it? Yeah. Starting up faster the second time. I'm gonna plug in my little stick. Now I got it all. 
That's still plugged in, the right? key is on. Get this thing out of here. 12 o'clock at night, programming cars. All the day, fixing the air conditioner. Freaking insane at odd hours. It's better doing things at odd hours than not doing them at all. Alright, that goes in like that. Plug that in. We have to turn the key on. Don't trip over the wire. Don't trip over the wire. Oh, I'm getting a lot of hate on my tow truck videos again. The little kids. The little kids who comment. Don't like my videos. Alright, so now we gotta go like this. Get one flash. You go like this because you're impatient. It helps. Uh, you're gonna have to go to tools. Uh, vehicle information. Ooh, not on. You see, it's good we check that. No, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. Conclusion of this deal, um, this car starts on a new file, which is a good sign. I don't know if it shifts yet. I have to move everything around. And, uh, what was another thing I was going to say? There's a new program for 94, 95, 96. Stick it ass. 96 sucks. If I had a 96, it was going to OBD1. Um, they have a new, t um, data logging software. I believe you can even, uh, tune the car with it. It's for F bodies, but it works on B bodies. You know, it's the same thing. LT1, 460 e it's the same. Um, same computer, everything's the same. Um, so they have that. I want to try that program out too. They say it's like really, 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 really easy to tune your own car with that. So maybe I can mess a little more with the transmission tables and, um, you know, s screw with the... Um, I want to see that too. They say when you have headers, you have to up the voltage for the O2 sensor so it goes like about 100 millivolts higher than it normally would because the O2 sensor is all the way at the back. You know, it's like all the way down. These are kind of like long tube headers, kind of. The O2 sensor is like smack right back there, and same with that. And that kind of throws off the reading because factory, I just had like a little. These, he these manifolds are kind of funny. Just like they went up and they were down and O2 sensor was smack right there. Higher up. So the longer it goes, it screws with the reading of the O2 sensor apparently. Or the longer the header is. So we can do that. And this, uh, um, the spark tables too on this particular tune. A little less timing than what I had. I think I had too much timing. They threw it in Pennsylvania who did that. I won't mention his name. Mail order tune. He's pretty well known. Um, it had like a little, it had like a lopy idle almost because you just had so much conditioning timing at idle. No, it does that missing shit. Same like when you would, if you had the distributor and you advance it too much, you'll do the same thing. I made that mistake on my truck once with a bad timing light. You take it around the block and the thing's just pinging like crazy. Oh god! So. Uh, that's that. We're gonna go test it later. We gotta try that new data logging program. But, so far, so good. We gotta get more computers. 35 bucks at Junkyard. Oh, well, that's the new program. EE -E hack. It's the definition file from LT1. Connect, data log, you see, all this. You get this information. It's pretty nice. Main, trans, throttle position, all these different... It's pretty cool. We gotta go try that later. It looks better than anything else I used before. I believe you can also edit the um, ignition. Or like the, uh, what the hell, override air fuel ratio. You see, you can change it around the air fuel ratio as it's running, like live. You can change the uh, spark advance and whatnot too. So you can figure out like what works better on the go. Instead of, you know, running it, flashing it, running it, flashing it, and then you just do it a hundred times and kill the computer. So that's pretty neat. We're gonna try that later.